What's up buddy? So today we're looking at Tekken 3 on the PlayStation 1 and which uh, settings in Duck Station this game looks the best with. So let's start with native resolution. So the internal resolution is set to 1x, dithering is turned off or is set to true color and the scaling is nearest neighbor here which gives this uh, pixelated or more uh, sharper pixels here. And I would say this looks pretty good here. If, one, uh, if we want a little bit less pixelated we can change the scaling from nearest neighbor to bilinear smooth. And uh, yeah everything is a little bit blurry here but I would say it also blends in a little bit better. So I think I prefer this one here. But let's go back to nearest neighbor. There we go. Yeah, both of these works pretty good here, I would say. Let's see, bilinear smooth scaling. Yeah, looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, if we want uh, to keep this uh, native resolution but have movements to, to be a little bit smoother, we can turn on down sampling here. So let's try that. Here we go. And just turning that on doesn't do anything. We need to also, also increase the internal resolution here. So let's set that one to 4K. And yeah, that definitely makes a difference. I kind of like this one. It looks a little bit smoother everything. And how this one works is that the, the graphics are set to, in or the internal resolution is in 4K, which is then downsampled back to the native resolution here, which uh, gives this looks. And uh, yeah, I think it works pretty good. Let's uh, change the scaling to bilinear smooth. Yeah, I think I prefer that one a bit better compared to nearest neighbor scaling. Again, uh, things kind of blends a little bit better. But let's uh, let's try 4K without the down downsampling. So now we have the have it in 4K and everything looks very nice and crisp here. Uh, all the 3D models or all the defects kind of uh, becomes a lot more noticeable when we uh, we have a, a good internal resolution here. But for this game, I think it still works pretty good. The the geometry on the 3D models doesn't jump around that much in this game. Uh, however. Uh, Duck Station does support geometry correction, which should uh, help a bit here. So uh, yeah, let's try to turn that on. There we go. And for this game, it's not a big difference, but uh, especially for the ground here, it is a little bit flatter or stable compared to if we have that turn off. Let's try off here again. There we go. Yeah, it is mostly mostly noticeable with the ground here and for some games geometry correction here can break the graphics in some games but I haven't seen that in this one and uh, yeah we might as well have that one turned on okay next uh, thing would be dithering some uh, PlayStation 1 games has a ton of that so let's try to turn that on here we go let's go with unscaled and uh, yeah, that definitely makes a little bit of a difference. I think uh, it works pretty well here. Things again blends in a little bit better with this turned on. But if we turn it off here again or set it to true color. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit brighter and uh, cleaner. But I think I prefer the dithering turned on here. Yeah, it looks pretty good here. So, what do we think works best? Uh, I think I prefer the downsampling here with the bilinear smooth scaling. I think this uh, looks the best here for this one. Or if we go with just the native resolution with the bilinear smooth scaling, that also looks pretty good here. But no, I think uh, my favorite here would be would be with the down sampling. Uh, what do you think uh, works the best? And I guess this will be it for this video. You all stay awesome and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.